What's up guys? My name is Basic. Um, if you see like my friend in the mirror, yeah. By the way, this mirror was free on the side of the street, so I was like, yes, it's mine. Hope you're all doing good. Hope you're all having a fine day. Sorry, my setup is still trash because once again, my camera is still trash. Today, I'm gonna be doing a little announcement before my video. If you don't wanna hear it, you can skip it. Um, basically, I have a new fashion account. It's me and like five other friends and we just post outfit pictures. So if you're really into fashion or you wanna see that, um, I'll link it down below. It's at the Faceless Fits. So that's a new thing. You can follow that. Okay, today I'm gonna be doing the advice video that I promised I would do. I just realized that all the advice is on my phone and I'm filming on my phone. Uh, I'm not like a good YouTuber, so I- But um, also thank you to everyone who have been watching my new videos because I've been on this like new wave for YouTube where I've been posting posting a lot like making up for all the months that I didn't post because of school and work thank you if you are watching those I just I think it was the not sleeping for three days which I don't recommend but I'll do a video on it these are all kind of old they're like two weeks old and so if I have new advice coming in it'll be in a second video today I'm only answering about six or seven DMs because they're kind of long um I don't want this video to be like boring I'll give the Instagram handle in if they told me I could but if you wanted it anonymously then you'll have to like kind of know which message is yours is lauren comma ford and she says i would love to be in your video that you're making of fans who are reaching out to you and you're talking about their problems i have a scoliosis brace which means that my spine is not straight it is severely curved so i got braced in september 2016 it was the worst day in my life everyone thinks i over exaggerate and it, no one knows what it's really like they just assume they do i know it's not something deadly but i'm a teenager and i want to wear tight fitting clothes so this is a perfect example of something that people don't see as a big issue because they don't have to live with it every day. But when you have an issue, whether it's medical or um, emotional, you know, people don't see it the way you do because they don't live with it. This is something, I actually have a friend who was in middle school and she had the same exact problem. And for like a year, she would just wear sweatshirts and like she would feel so uncomfortable because she had to wear this brace all the time. And it's like having this huge like chunk of metal on you at all times, like that's terrible. I just wanna say, first of all, Lauren, you are so strong and you are so beautiful with or without this brace. And I think that this entire situation, whether or not it gets better medically, I think that it's gonna be something that teaches you a lot. It sucks because you do wanna wear tight fitting clothing. I obviously you don't know your exact situation, so I can't tell you like, oh, you can do this someday. I think with most scoliosis, scoliosis cases, you have to wear a brace for a year or two and then you can start taking it off and doing things like that. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Um, I think that this is definitely something that will get better. I think that no matter what, you should wear what you want. With the brace, it's hard to wear clothes, I assume. I think that if you found clothes that are like a size bigger so that it fits, like, you might be able to make that work. I would say just don't give up and don't listen to the people who are telling you that it's not a big deal because it is a big deal. And even if they don't see that, that doesn't matter because they're not the ones walking around with a brace. I think that this is going to teach you a lot. I think that there's definitely going to be ways around it. And I think that you're going to learn from it. And I think one day, maybe it won't even be a problem. So, um, yeah, that's all the advice I can give you. That really, really sucks. I'm so sorry, but it's definitely going to make you a stronger person. This person didn't want their name in their message, so I'm just going to read off their message. It says, how do you know when you're ready to date someone? I've been hanging out with a dude for quite a while. We act like we're dating. I just don't know if we share some important values. We have so much fun together and we connect. I just don't know what to do. Okay. Um, this is something that's super hard to tell because one issue when you're our age is knowing people's intentions. I think that a lot of guys and girls um, find someone that they have interest in or they find someone that they like and then they're afraid to tell them their true intentions, intentions because they don't want to upset the other person or they don't want to lose the possibility of them being something to them. If two people aren't on the same page, then obviously one person's gonna be let down, one person's gonna be hurt. You don't have a good relationship at all with that person. What I can tell you is on either side, I don't care who you are, if you're talking to someone, just be honest with what you want and don't lie to them because the second you lie, you're getting that person's hopes up and then no matter what happens in the end, they're gonna think of you as the person who lied to them. I think if you think that this guy is really fun and you have a good time with him, then talk to him. Just be like, hey, what do you want from us? And you can just be straightforward. Just say, I just want to know, like, hey, I really, really like you. I love spending time with you, but I want to know before we go further, like, what your intentions are with me. And if he's not honest about it, then that really sucks, and you will learn from that, and that's going to hurt for a while. But that's kind of what everyone has to go through. And the boy I'm dating now, Connor, 
we kind of had this problem where we were best friends and I didn't want to ruin the friendship and I didn't know if we were ready to date because I didn't know about like little small things and our relationship and then we sat down a few times and we just talked and we said in our relationship how would things be like what do you want talked about timing and we talked about morals and values and that made us really really strong and right now we're so good we just had our five month anniversary even though it's been like seven or eight months but yeah I say the most important thing is communication and no matter what side you're on just be honest okay this is one question that I get every single day in my DMs but I have never made a video on it just because it's something that's really kind of long but I'll try to shorten it I need advice. I want to start a YouTube channel for a while, but I'm insecure about it. Um, this is so common, guys. It is so common because when you see YouTubers, you think they're like this outgoing person who's not afraid to speak. When people see me, they think of I'm so outgoing and I'm so like about what I want to do, which is really true, but it's only true because I took the risk of making YouTube videos. And when I started YouTube, I was really young. And I made videos and they were just fun, like I was just learning how to do it. And then a few years later I got serious about it. And if I wouldn't have started, I never would be where I am. And just because you try something doesn't mean if it doesn't work out it wasn't a success. Because if you try something and it teaches you a lot, then that might lead you to something else that you're better at. Something hard that I had to learn because I've tried a lot of things, like take sports for example. I'm literally terrible at sport anything related to sports do you know what i did in high school i took online gym because i can't do sports that's fine because i excel in other things like youtube and photo shoots and everything else that i do like art okay you just have to find what you're about but i think that if you try youtube what you can do at first if you're shy this is i literally did this um YouTube has a button where when you publish your video, it either says public or private or unlisted. And if you do private, only you can see it. And if you do unlisted, everyone you sh share the link with can see it. So you can make videos and they can be terrible, but no one has to see them. And then when you get to a point where you feel like it's good enough to post, then all you have to do is hit publish. So that's what I would do. I'd say that if it's been on your mind for a while, then do it. And if it doesn't work out, then that's okay. And if it does work out, then you'll be really glad that you took the chance. Brynn is now joining in um, after straightening her hair. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I just noticed that this is like crooked. When she came in here, I realized that the camera's crooked. Okay, so here's a few more anonymous um, questions. Dirty clothes after taking off the is just okay. You, you can look around, dude. It might be my short. Okay, Luke is in here too now, so it's a party. Um, all right, so this girl says, Hi, Sophie. We've spoken a few times. I want to say that what you're doing is so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, for a while now, I haven't had any close friends, which has made me feel uninvolved, unloved, and feel like no one loves me or is there for me. I'm an introvert, but I've had many friends over the years. They always leave me behind. I don't know how to fix it or what you can say to me to make me feel better, but I just wanted to DM you and let you know. Okay, so I'm going to start off with saying that even if no one tells you that they love you, they definitely do. And sure. this is what I told Connor yesterday or a couple days ago. I said, if you really think about it, there has never been in a point up until you were born until now that you haven't been loved. And whether that's religious and spiritual to you or it's your family and friends, you have literally at all times always been loved. Like someone has always wanted to be there for you someone has always wanted to help you or feel like that just know that like you are always loved even if you don't feel that way in the moment and it can be someone like me like most of you i try to talk to you but obviously i can't speak to fifty thousand people but every week i tell you guys i love you because i feel like that is so important that people know that i definitely relate and i'm gonna tell you that Bryn is one of my best friends like one of the best friends i have ever found well you're mine <laughs> And I found those people because you don't know what you need until you know what you don't need. That sucks to go through to be betrayed and be lied to and <laughs> Luke, it sucks. And I'm going to tell you right now that a lot of you know that I had this friend and I'm not going to name names because I don't want to. I had this friend and we were friends all throughout high school. I met her freshman year and we were friends through senior year. And I dated a guy and we were really, really involved. Like we had almost a year and a half long relationship and this guy cheated on me and my friend knew about it and she ended up going and hooking up with him and then she got cheated on. And a few days ago, she tried to come to me and apologize and I just blocked her because that's what you have to go through. Like, honestly, it isn't always going to be that extreme, but like you have to go through things like that to know what friends that are real are like. I think that 
yes, you may have been left by friends before, but now what I would say is going forward, look for qualities in other people that aren't similar to the last friends you had. Because, yeah, yeah because oh, like yeah. Bryn, so she even told me, like we were at Starbucks the other day and she's like, I just want you to know, like, I love you so much. And like, you need a friend that's going to tell you that. Because mm-hmm. if you don't feel loved, if you are literally saying to me, I feel unloved, you need friends that say, hey, just randomly like, I love you. You're a great friend. Like, that's what you need because you have to let each other know or else you're going to start to feel unloved like this girl. And you don't deserve that at all. I'm so sorry. And I hope you know that you are loved and I hope you know that Mm -hmm. you will find friends that will tell you that. But it's going to take time. And that's okay because a lot of things take time. If you're hurt from somebody, it takes a long time to recover from that. But you you definitely will find the right people in your life. You have to, like, learn how to take the toxic people out. Like, mm-hmm. what you did with unnamed girl. Name <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, it's hard. Yeah, you have to know how to do things in a way that's not going to make everything explode. And um, communication is a huge part of that. So I think really, ultimately, it's just learning how to communicate and how to cut people off mm-hmm. and how to choose the right people. And you obviously are really young, and I am too. And I think that um, it's one of those things that, like, maybe you won't have a really, really good friend for the next, you know, year. But I think at least everyone in their 20s is going to say at one point they had a best friend, you know? So this girl says, I'm really broken and sad, and you're so good at advice. Thank you, and I'm really sorry you're sad. That makes me sad. Plus, I seem to tell you some problems anyway, and I'm sorry I do it to you. Don't be sorry. Because I love helping people. I love giving you advice. I feel like I have to act a certain way around most of my friends and keep up this happy girl image. Okay. I learned about this in psychology. And basically, um, I mean, nowadays we call it fronting. Like, you have to front as something you're not. And whether that's happy or rich or popular, you have to act like someone you're not. Mm -hmm. and that doesn't make you a bad person that doesn't make you a fake person it just means that like you don't know exactly how to be yourself yet and nobody does and some people have really really hard time with that and that's okay because you have to like i said you have to go through the bull to get to the good (laughs) and i mean it's true if i didn't have a friend i wouldn't have a good friend i think that the best thing you can do is Obviously, if you are close with your friends or you feel comfortable enough talking to them about things, I would just confront them and say, hey, I need to tell you that I haven't been acting completely like myself. And I assure you 100% that at least one of your friends feels the same way. Because every young girl feels like they have to be something else because of our society and everything that we live by. For a long time on my YouTube channel, I felt like I had to be someone else because my audience wanted to see one thing and I wanted to do another. And finally, I started doing what I wanted to do and I just openly told you I made a video literally a week ago. I made a video saying the most honest I've been on YouTube. And that's because I was just telling you guys that, hey, I haven't been completely honest with who I am and I'm going to start doing that. And I think that's what you should do. I think that it's going to be really hard and you definitely have to be brave about it. But I think you should sit them down and say, listen, I want to be more of my true self with you guys. And there's no way they're going to shut you down for that. There's no way they're going to say they no. Do, they're fake. Yeah. Like, and if they do, walk away. Cut them off. Make new friends. Cut them off. Yeah. yeah. And then when you start a new friend group, just go in as yourself. And I know it's easier said than done, but it's all part of the process of learning who you are and how to be that person. I think that a lot of people do expect you to be the happy girl that you said. And I think a lot of times it's parents or adults in our lives that want to see us happy because they do things to make us happy. But you can't just rely on other people for your happiness to be true to yourself. And I think that the reason you probably feel trapped in this persona is that you've allowed yourself to become the persona. You allow yourself to act that way around friends. And friends are supposed to be the people that you can be yourself around. Every other piece of advice I've given today, it's something that you need to work on and it's something that's not easy, but you'll get there with time. And also like, like what I told you the other day, like I was saying like, Sometimes people, especially like at my school and in like high school, there's there's always going to be like cliques and everything. And I feel like 
like just being like a nice person in general even around your friends like you can literally like influence your friend to be better people and like honestly like just in high school if you're walking in the hallway saying hi to someone even if they're like different or whatever like could literally like save their lives honestly yeah. and i feel like if you're just like genuinely nice and don't care because i feel like a lot of people care about they like care too much yeah. how they like if they're seen with someone who's like like not popular or if yeah. they're like kind of weird that's and a like good point. <laughs> they're afraid to like be seen talking to someone that's like not yeah. in their inner circle mm -hmm. like i don't know i just feel like people should be more welcoming and like happy especially in high school when there's like a lot of suicides and yeah like there's a lot of people yeah a lot of depression even something as simple as giving compliments i believe that you know kindness is contagious like mm -hmm. uh, that sounds like a hallmark gift card what's up guys i'm editing and this video is really long so i can't post it to youtube so part two will be up right after this video it'll be linked right here